So, you want to bag your Lexus IS350. Welcome. Naulan. <laughs> it's raining. Nakapayong lang yung ating cameraman ngayon. Sorry, but this is the best angle for this intro. So, you want to bag your IS350, the Lexus IS350. You've come to the right place. Welcome. Ito yung third episode natin ng series na ito. And holy shit, lumalakas na ang ulan. So, there are a few things that we want to discuss for this car. How difficult it will be. And I could say right now, this is one of the most difficult cars na nagawa namin. And I'm not even kidding. This car is a special car. Bakit? Kotse ko po ito. <laughs> so, there are things that you should know when you're going to bag your IS. It's going to be technical. Okay? It's not that easy. And I hope you learned something from this video. So, let's get right into it. Intro! We're at the front of the car. Ito nga pala ang unahan ng IS350. So we have an Arex coilover on airbags. Why I chose a coilover for this car is because I ride pretty low. I need a stiffer damping that, so that my car won't rub and destroy my, you know, my wheel well at saka yung, ano ko, yung aking fender liners. As you can see, intact pa rin naman ang fender liners ko. Thank God. So one thing to note about the front of the suspension ng IS350 is it has a four-pot big brake kit already from the stock factory and it has a wishbone suspension unlike the ones we covered before itong wishbone suspension na ito it does not make the shock pivot or rotate So pakita namin sa inyo Ikot natin yung manibela As you can see ayan yung strut natin Pansin mo hindi gumalaw so while it's actually turned that way, let's actually see the air strut. Ayan yung air strut natin from Arex. Uh, second hand na to. I bought it from a friend. Okay nga dons, pa ano nga ako, pa ikot ako the other side. As you can see, hindi na ikot yung shocks natin pag nagta-turn yung manibela. Yan yung beauty ng wishbone suspension sa unahan. Okay? Other side. Pansin mo, dun lang umiikot sa ball joint na yan. Yung ball joint na yan, dyan lang umiikot yung sa suspension natin. Yun na yung mismong parang bearing niya. Dun nagpipivot yung mismong arm. Ito ang benefit ng wishbone suspension. Pag naka-air sus, hindi na ang galaw yung kanyang suspensions. As you can see, yan siya. Okay? Straight na natin, papi. So, let's actually pressurize the bag for you to see. You can't see it much because this bag is already broken in. May taon na tong dumaan sa bag na to. So, it's actually quite stiff as well. Yeah, it inflates very so slightly. So, yun. Ito nga pala yung height sensor no sa front of the Lexus IS350. This was one of our earlier works, earlier works. So, I would not say it's the cleanest. Moving along sa likod ng kotse. And this is a bit complicated to show because the Lexus IS350 has one of the most difficult rear suspension to work on. Tawag dito ay multi-link suspension. Multi-link independent rear suspension. Bakit siya multi-link ang tawag? Because the hub actually has multiple links. Okay? It has actually four, total of four. Ang first link natin is toe arm. Okay? Toe arm. We have a camber arm. We have the front toe arm, and then of course the last one would be the con control arm sa ilalim. So it's a multi-link suspension, and one of the most difficult suspensions that you can get to air suspension, because it is actually very very tight. So you can see zoom in natin na wala makita nyo. Nandun yung airbag sa loob. It's very hard to show it to you. I want to show it to you, pero it's gonna be a bit bit difficult to show. Ayan siya. Medyo masikip. I am sporting a hard race camber arm. I don't know if you can see it. Let's try to zoom it there. So basically, I'm camber kit na ako. 
one of the most difficult suspension that you can actually bag is the IS350. Pero I do love that Lexus or Toyota has developed a tow arm na naka 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 yan, nakabaliko because that gives me a lot of space for the airbag. I am also sporting a height sensor sa likod. As you can see, it's way in there. Right? Nakakabit siya sa inner toe arm natin, front toe arms. One thing I can say is very difficult din ikabit yung height sensors nito. So this car is not for the faint of heart. The car is really difficult. Mahirap talaga siyang gawin. As you can see, it's way inside the suspension. If I zoom out, you would see. Tagun-tagun naman siya sa loob. Ang benefit lang nito so far para sa akin is that it's really far away from the wheel. So pag naglapad ako ng mags, wala akong problema. Pero nonetheless, having it there is really difficult. One of the most difficult builds talaga na nagawa namin to. So yun, that is the rear suspension ng Lexus IS350. Alright, welcome sa rear side ng kotse, which is the trunk, where you will see the layout of the car. Yung layout ng air suspension namin. So, as you can see, we have a bit of space available for us. Okay, I can still put stuff here. Actually, testing natin yung golf set natin na ilagay dito later to show you na may space pa tayo. But we do occupy almost a third of the space in the trunk because ito na yung system natin. You might be noticing something as well. Zoom in natin. The pumps are actually elevated, okay? Because we are using exo mounts for this setup. Ano yung exo mounts? I'll show it to you in a bit. All right. So, nag-side view ako ng konti para makita niya nang aayos yung exo mounts. What is the exo mounts? Ito yung brackets natin. Nakakabit siya sa tangke and then nakakabit yung bracket sa pump. That's why it's actually elevated. Okay? What does that do? What does that do? That actually minimizes a lot of vibration sa pumps kasi naka-elevate yung mga pumps sa air eh. And nakakabit na siya sa tangke. So, the point of contact ng mga pumps sa mismong kahoy, ko konti lang. Kaya pag nag-vibrate yung kahoy, konting-konti lang, ever so slightly na it makes it quiet. The vibration is one of the contributing factors ng ingay nung tunog nung sa pump natin. So as you can see, ito na yung bagong system din. One of the uh, cars na nalagyan namin ng una is of course our cars para ma-demo natin yung bagong system. Pati yung system nakakabit sa X amount, so it's like floating in air. It's actually easy to maintain these types of uh, setup because nasa harap mo na lang lahat eh. The hose lines are actually above. So kung gusto mong bulaan to para makakapag-check ng leak, taas tayo, sensors are under the bottom side. We have industrial sockets for each purposes. That's the benefit of it. Yun yung pinaka-best part ng air suspension setup na to is just the availability space and you know ease of use, ease of maintenance. Yan siya. How do you like it? I'm gonna show you the back side of this setup para ma-appreciate nyo lalo yung sinasabi ko. Pero this is the layout sa likod. But before that, let's actually try to fit our golf bag. So if you have a golf set, it will still fit like a glove dun sa trunk nyo. Like so. Pero ingat lang. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. For this one, as you can see, sa rear side, maganda rin siya. That's, that is the most important part of this build, is to showcase everything is actually clean from the front to the back. Usually, pag nasa likod, hindi mo na makikita to, and then sobrang dumi ng likod. We have our relays there in the back, pressure switch, and then yung hose line natin. naka t fitting na lang siya dyan. And I actually want to show this to you guys kasi ang ganda ng gawa ng boys dito. Thank you sa inyo. I really, I am really happy on my own car. I know they're busy working on your cars, pero to see that they have made an effort for your own car is actually uh, heartwarming, if I say so myself. So, welcome to the perspective view ng... Lexus IS350 natin. Ganyan yung air out niya, close up. So pinapakita ko lang yung laro ng auto camber sa likod. As you can see, nagka-camber siya sa likod. Pag nag-up and down siya, tapos may, <laughs> may batang sumilip sa kanan. So off we go. Papakita ko sa inyo yung dynamics ng kotse pag nananakbo tayo ng mababa. One thing very particular for this car is pwede ka manakbo ng mababang mababa kasi nga nag-auto camber yung likod ng kotse and malaki rin yung wheel well niya. As you can see, yung mga bumps na dinadaanan ko, feeling mo sasabit yung mags ko pero hindi siya sumasabit. We're going to go out of a intersection here and we're gonna give it a sp uh, bit of speed para makita mo a high speed, low speed, mababang takbo, mataas sa takbo. Yan o, no? pumapasok lang siya. Enjoy 
that sound for a bit. That's preset 2. Bababa natin ngayon to preset 1. Yan yung pinakamababa kong rolling. Kita mo naman, 20% na lang yung height. Nakasuksok na yung mags ko sa likod. Pero I'm not rubbing. Taas natin to the highest, P3. And then, ibaba natin. You can adjust your ride height while running. No problem. So, yan yung normal ride ko, P2. As you can see, when you're powering out, bumabagsak yung puwet kasi nandun lahat ng power. And, back to P1 tayo. Sobrang bastos ng rolling. Tinan mo naman, nasa loob na yung wheels ko. And I'm not rubbing. Even if I give it power. If it, even if I drive fast. Going down to 18%. Nakita mo yun? Sobrang pogi. Anyway, we're not gonna sp spend too much time on the rear. Gusto ko lang naman ipakita yung unahan. I have very limited time. Kasi I don't want this video too long. So ito naman yung sa unahan. As I've said, nagkakamber din yung... Nagkakamber yung likod. So nagkakamber din yung unahan ng kotse ito. Due to the wishbone suspension. Ito naman yung front view. We're at P2 right now. P1 right, rather. And we're gonna go to P2. And send it some speed. As you can see, pag nagpa-power out yung kotse, tumataas yung unahan kasi nasa likod ng power. It's just normal. See how the airbag absorbs the damping. Hindi matagtag yung kotse. Alright, we're not gonna spend too much time sa front because the video is gonna be too long. So, bumalik na lang. Kinat ko na lang sa pagbalik ng shop. Sa may mga gravel natin para makita mo yung damping sa unahan. We're at P3. May nasagasaan ako ng bote ng tubig dito. Sorry for the noise, the crunching noise. Pero yeah, yun siya. This is the perspective view ng IS350 ko. I hope you learned something and you saw something good from this. I just want to show you how good the ride is and how good the drop is as well. Damn. Hope you like that perspective shot ng dalawang gulong. Uh, I don't know if you saw na nag-auto camber siya pag uma up and down Pero yun yung key feature ng kotseng ito Kaya nagustuhan ko tong kotseng ito kasi nag-auto camber yung unahan at likod Because they are both independent Front and rear is independent So taas nga natin So you can see, tumatayo yung camber niya as you go higher Then pag nag-down ka Pumipikay din yung mga arms So yun yung pinakamagandang part na tong kotseng ito And then another thing to note is that yung likod, sumusok-sok talaga siya sa likod, sa ilalim. So that's the cool part of the IS350. is malaki yung wheel well niya. You can actually put 11s, 12s sa likod, but you will do some excessive camber. Okay? Good. So, kaya namin ito na videohan today is because minaintenance ko tong kotse. I figured na gusto nyo makita kung ano yung itsura ng IS350 pag in Airsus. Of course, kita nyo naman as usual. You have seen many pictures of this car. I just want to show you the details, the technical details ng kotse pag in Airsus. As you may have known, summary lang natin. Sa unahan, madali ang air suspension ng IS350. Wishbone suspension sa unahan. So that means that pag umiikot yung manibela, hindi umiikot yung shocks. Unlike the Jazz, unlike the CRV, or under other Mark Fearson strut na kotse. So yun yung maganda sa unit na to. Another thing to note is that yung likod din is very, very difficult to do the air suspension kasi yung multi-link suspension sa likod is so cramped. Masikip. Okay? Yun yung kailangan nyo tandaan pag nag-air sus kayo ng IS350. If kami ang gagawa, lucky you. I've already made one and it's isang taon na tong kotse sa akin naka-air sus. And it still feels great. My favorite car pa rin talaga. So, I would rate this car the solid build ngayon. Itong build na to, tapos na to. Ito na rin yung wheels and lapad na gusto ko. I'm giving this build a 9 out of 10. Bakit? Ba't hindi siya perfect? There are things na gusto ko sana sa coaching to na hindi ko nagawa. There are things na I wish I could have changed pero okay na ako, happy na ako. So I'm giving it a solid 9 out of 10. Almost perfect. The difficulty level ng coaching ito, I would say I would rate this car on a difficult, very difficult level or hard. So if your builder does not know how to work on cars like this properly, uh, consult them first. O kami naman, I would tell you na hihingi ako ng extra oras sa gantong kotse because it's a bit difficult to do and there are a lot of things that you need to take care about. Sa layout naman sa likod, it's one, easily one of the best layouts that we can do because this is our show car. And what else? Ano ang wheel specs ng kotse ito? I have the perfect setup right here but you do need camber kits so ililista ko na lang sa screen. 
Ang kailangan mo sa unahan ay 19 by 9, offset 28. Sa likod, 19 by 10.5, offset 38. With front toe adjustable arm and adjustable camber arm sa likod. If you don't have those things, hindi mo mapupull off to. So, yun yung best setup sa Lexus IS350. If you're gonna do the same setup, that is one of the best uh, offsets that you can do. Or maybe if you have something similar, work on your specs dun sa binigay ko. The IS350, the Lexus IS350, one of the great cars for stance talaga. If you have an IS350, if you're looking for an IS350, stay tuned for the review ng watching ito. Thank you for watching. Hope you like that. So, you want to bag your IS350. Here's the video for you. Until the next episode, it's been Cal from Fitment Engineering and you're watching Fitment TV. Thank you.